Hello guys and welcome back to the mess that is this channel and my face. Are you seeing this with me? Are we seeing this? Are we actually seeing this? Disgusting! They said quarantine was a time to glow up. It's not happening. So what's up? What's up? Today I was thinking of doing a different video. You might be wondering what's the special occasion that you change into summer pajamas. <laughs> Um, well, today I'm gonna show you how I record my music. It's not interesting <laughs> at all. I don't know why I'm doing it. I think it's because I feel like I'm doing something besides bad reaction videos and I have to add really bad music vlogging. Woo! So anyways, first of all, I'm gonna show you the place I record at, my room. I'm really making it sound professional. You know why I'm doing this video? Did you point those dirty green sausages at me? I want to show you that it doesn't matter who you are. Anyone can record music in their own rooms. Billie Eilish and Finney has proved it. I'm proving it and I'm a musical prodigy, okay? So, um, this is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you with my new, newly cut hair. <laughs> Take a minute, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show you exactly what I do and how I record music because I know that all of you are really interested in this. I think we should start with a little tour. My mom's in the kitchen. <laughs> we should start with a little tour, shall we? So I always use my phone to record because no, I don't have a camera. No, I'm not getting anything soon. So we use my phone. So now I'm gonna sh Literally children drive me insane. All right, so I'm gonna show you my place, my room. Let's do this. Okay, so my first step is to always open the window because you wanna hear the sound of possessed children through your window, really. Um, second, <laughs> this is um, <laughs> where I record. It really looks tidy. Checking yourself on the mirror because your outfit slays if you ask me, of course. Um, what is it like to be a boss, they ask, and I say, all you need is a dirty computer screen. First of all, never forget the water bottle that I got at Spar, and it's glass. I bite my nails so you can't hear it. Vibes. We're gonna need a little USB. Why, you may ask? Because this is where I keep my tracks. You may or may not be wondering where I get the tracks from. I don't do them because I'm too good to produce. No, I'm joking. I'm just not talented. So <laughs> what I do is I search and search for hours and hours and let me clarify hours on end for a song or a track that suits the kind of vibe I go for in songs. So you can't just give me any track. It has to be a specific track with a specific sound and that takes me so long to find because they may sound really good but when I start singing and trying my song out with them it's not the vibe and I get a lot of it's not the vibe because I like it to be perfect I download these not free for profit use tracks which take me a really long time and then I charge them onto my USB and then I grab my mic now usually when I have enough data I use I told you, it's gonna be messy. I usually use Hotspot to connect to Soundtrap, which is the platform I use to record vocals, etc. Et that ain't happening today because my data doesn't renew till the end of this month and we are already three days, just four days left, I think. So today I think I'm gonna record the main vocals, the main harmonies, and I may record like a few extra vocals. For the most part, I always use at least six layers of vocals because you know you know donuts they hit different when you like bite into them and there's filling it's like that with my songs I like them to have my voice everywhere you don't want to escape that nightmare I use this mic which was a birthday gift and let me tell you it's one of my best birthday gifts that and a pair of rollerblades because I'm not rollerblade girl for no reason I have been rollerblading for seven years facts and I have really good skates that I'm very proud of owning so just thought I'd flex that way and this was a gift for my birthday I love it I don't care if it's not like oh it's not like this 
XYZ mic. I don't care. This is such a good mic for me. The thing I love about this mic is that it has this reverb kind of on it. So when you sing, it sounds kind of echoey, which I love. And then usually you have to plug in like a pair of earphones. Now, all my earphones are broken because I use Bluetooth headphones because I'm going to the year 3000. So I use these now, which I bought and I bought them. I bought them like a few years ago and I was so proud of this because they looked really cool and the packaging was so cool and they cost me 20 euros. They cost me a fortune. The, 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 the sound on them is... A, it is... It is annoying. But then I remember I had these, which aren't broken, and they're still my old ones with the cord, and they work. So we're gonna use those today because we wanna look professional. So, Jesus Christ. I don't know why I told you the whole story about the other one. What am I even Like, this is welcome to the vlog, you know what I mean? The first week I got this mic, it fell on the floor. And so I had to put cello tape on the side because this side like comes off. And I put blue tack for the longest time and it looked awful. It looked like a gray turd on it. Really, I'm a classy girl, you know what I mean? First step. BSEO girl scrunchie for the boys out there and the girls because we don't exclude on this channel What you want to do is put your hair looking gross and disgusting because It's always amazing to look like a proper mess when you're recording a song. Oh my goodness Jeez Now I'm gonna grab my book because I'm using my phone which is counterproductive because I have most of my songs in there It's really not I listened to like a song of this and I really liked the vibe because it really suited this one song that I wrote and I thought hey I could use it for that one because I uh, let me get you through my process of writing shall I this video is all over the place so my mic isn't on so you're gonna hear me just talking you know what I mean I write the lyrics first so I'm always sitting down somewhere and then suddenly this one lyric will pop up in my head something like I'll just be sitting reading, and I could be reading The Hunger Games for like hair. I just say something like, you said you weren't gonna leave, but you left me like this. That doesn't even rhyme, but you get the vibe. <laughs> I go to my phone and I'm like, oh, that I like that line. I thought you said you uh, thought you said you were never thought you said you were never gonna leave, and then I write that down. And then sometimes, if I'm lucky, I will start writing a set of verses and then I usually get to the first chorus and then after the first chorus then I have to either stop and continue another day. In total, it could take me like 10 minutes to write a song of my own because, you know, lyrics flow really easily to me. Since I was little, I've always written things. I like to write books, I like to write like little stories, I like to write poems. Like, I was that kind of kid and now I've use that and use my emotions and feelings and experiences to put them in songs. Um, then I grab my guitar, kind of find chords that suit the vibe I want to go for. So if it's a happy vibe, if it's nostalgic, I just search for chords. I can play very basic guitar, so I can play a whole song. It's just the strumming patterns. You know, I have like five or six and I reuse them over and over again like a form of torture. I cannot really fingerstyle, like I know two songs really badly on fingerstyle style. Then, after I find those chords, I go on YouTube. Find my favorite producers that do free for profit beats because we're not about spending money. It takes me really long because I'm so specific about vibes and stuff. And then, download it and sync to it. And most of the time I improvise a lot of the parts of the song that then I have to relearn. I have to re relearn whatever I've improvised. That's how I do it. That's my process. So, I'm gonna guide you through it today and I'm gonna see what happens. I got this getting the car one that I loved. I love the vibe of it. So I'm gonna listen to it and see. Alright, we're gonna try a little snippet. So So that was a 
exhausting. I think I took like seven takes and then I finally did it in the harmonies, which sounds so weird. Going like, yeah. I still have a lot of work to do, but we're getting there. You know what I mean? So I'll see you when I actually edit them in and then I can share it with the world. And I'll show you how to do that. Yes, peace, guys. Jesus Christ. Um.